Hello and welcome to the Mega Brevon channel. Now it's been a little while since I last did a video, about uh, two months actually. Um, and in between with, I don't know, just general life has caught us up. Um, I've sort of had time to do a few short videos on the Mega Brevon Notes channel. But uh, it's just that everyday things get in the way. Um, we've recently been to the UK. So I thought I'd take uh, Mega Brevon out for uh, a short drive and uh, have a little bit of a chat. Belt squealing a bit. I haven't been out in the van for quite a bit, um, one reason or another, and I'm still a very nervous driver, even though I've owned this van since 2018. But uh, at the moment I'm just staying around, I was a postman, just staying around the, the village really. And at this time of the day, there's not a lot of traffic about. So we've been to the UK about two weeks ago, four years since the last visit. And uh, I'll go this way. And yeah, it's a bit weird because we rented the same place in Feddingworth near Market Harbour, which is near my native Leicester, and uh, it was like we haven't been away. So uh, yeah, it was very nice. Caught up with a couple of friends, and uh, had a bit of a chat, visited Leicester, took a few bus photographs and things, which you'll see on my main site. Um, we even visited the, the King Bower Stadium in Leicester, Leicester City Football Club. My son would love that. In fact, my daughter loved it as well, really. So I might do a little video about that. So some forthcoming videos coming up. Not really to do with Mega Bread Van. But, uh, you know, that's how it is. So I need to crack on with some work on the van, as usual. But uh, for now I'm just going to take a little drive around, get used to driving again. I haven't driven for a few months, well two months to be exact because the last uh, video of me doing a comparison with Hubnut's uh, test of a similar vehicle um, had me driving a bit. So it's been two months and I should drive more often. But uh, just thought I'd just come, come down here for a bit down towards the park as usual and I think I might do a little whoops a big pothole there whoa I think I'll do a little trip around the village and then back home so I've been trying to think about the direction that the the channel is going to head in and uh, not really sure because obviously this channel on YouTube is about my van. I'll do a, a turnaround here, just uh, bear with me. In fact, I think I'll just about turn around completely there. No, no, not probably not. The, the turning circle on this van is absolutely useless. Absolutely useless. So I have to do a three point turn to, to turn around without hitting this wall. So yeah, back to the channel. Um, yeah, it's about this van. Well, it starts out being about this van. And of course, I'm interested in a lot of different sorts of transport, mainly buses and cars. So, you know, the, the channel is sort of like expanded to include those, but it's still called Mega Bread Van. So I decided to call everything Mega Bread Van. Oops, another pothole. 
and leave it at that. So, at the moment, you've got the main channel, you've got my site at megabreadvan.space, and um, you've also got, whoops, my various Twitter accounts, Facebook accounts. And on Facebook, I've got two groups. I've got a group about my ex-employer, Little and Fox, um, which was started uh, in reaction to somebody having taken over a group I started originally and not really devoted a lot of time to it. So I decided to start my own group because so I posted some stuff on that group and they weren't going through. So that's a quick story to that one. I've also I've got a group called British Pussies in France, which I started a long time ago. It's a very small group. And also have a page on Shutterstock. Nothing coming. So a page on Shutterstock, uh, which is nothing to do with big brown old buses or anything like that. It's just my photos. And another site, which I can't remember, I think it's Pickfair, that's it, Pickfair. So site's on there. And there you got a few car photo aspect, photos, but it's all the, sorry, it's early, early doors on that. I'm trying to concentrate on driving at the same time. Um, so yeah, all that's Mega Bread Van. So I've been concentrating a bit too much on um, the photo side. So, I'm slowly going through all of the my negatives, which I've sorted through, it took me a long time to do. Uh, photos taken right back until, right back until the early 80s, of mainly buses, and then cars sort of like in the last 10 years or so. So I'm sort of like going through all those, cleaning them in Photoshop, and putting them onto, onto my site, which means, um, the videos have taken a bit of a back seat. That's why, another reason why I've not been posting. So all those things are going to be put together. And at the moment, uh, as I'm finding out on these road bumps, I'm suffering a bit um, with uh, my back. Um, my back, lower back, and just behind my right shoulder, where I broke a rib about 20 years ago clean broke through and as I'm driving along here going over all these bumps I can feel it and so that's I don't know it's just when you've got constant pain uh, and you've got everyday things to do still doing the English lessons it sort of grinds you down a bit and so it's great to be out doing a video again um, and learning how to do a camera angle on this, which I hope is okay. Obviously I can't talk to you, so I'm concentrating on driving. I don't want to be looking at the camera all the time. But uh, yeah, it's nice to be out and about. I hope you can see a little bit of what I can see. So we're going to come down here, go towards the local village stadium. It's a grand word for a football field. Uh, and I'm just going to, it's, it's like a little housing estate down here, so I'm just going to do a bit of a circuit. There's not much traffic, so I'm sort of taking advantage of that at all at this time of the day. Of course, towards 11.30, the primary school kids, some of them go home for lunch, so that means that, uh, hang on, let's see what this woman's doing with her dog. So I'm just going to go over a little mosey around this house and stay. It's surprising there's a couple of pedestrians, you don't really get that very often. People giving me a funny look because I'm driving a funny van, as usual. And it's just a way of turning around really, because if I carried on along that road, as you've probably seen in previous videos, then I'll need to turn onto the main road into the village because you can't when you get past a point on that road 
it becomes one way. Like this road is one way. I'm going on now. It's loop. So that means that I won't be able to um, turn around and come back along this road. I've gone to the main road, which is actually been limited to 30 now. Nobody keeps to it. The whole village is limited to 30 uh, kilometres an hour, not 30 miles an hour. Carefully, yeah, because suddenly get the traffic appearing up from nowhere. Um, yeah, so probably one day I'll do a separate video about it. Oh, it's a cat, a little run over the cat. So, I'd like to do a separate video about coming along this 30 kilometre an hour road, which is the main road into the into the village, uh, because it, it slightly terrifies me. I mean, I'm more or less okay driving around the village, but driving along the main road where there's lots of other traffic, not lots of traffic, but for me it's a lot of traffic, is disconcerting. But the, the problem was, the last time I took that road into the village, which is the one I'm coming up to now, um, but actually in the village itself, um, Somebody tried to overtake me when I was doing 30. I know 30 is very slow. 50 is very slow, which is what the what it was originally on that road. There's nobody coming anyway, so there's no no traffic at all on the road today. Oh, there's a car coming towards me. Yeah, so it's disconcerting when you're sticking to 30 somebody on a very narrow road decides to try to overtake you and then change their mind so I'll do a video about that anyway we're coming towards home so I'm gonna wind it up here thank you for watching this driving video where well, I'm actually inwardly quite terrified oh road works what we've got around this corner road narrows and they're digging the road up and there's a, oh God, it's a little bulldozer thing. I guess I'll have to wait then. Um, thanks. I don't know if you can see this on the camera, but it's a little bulldozer thing. Let me through. Thank you. Yeah, so I'm gonna wind the video up here because I'm coming towards home. Thank you so much for watching. Really do appreciate you watching these rather mundane videos of me driving a plastic van. And I'll see you in another video. Take care of yourselves. Bye. Support Mega Red Van Hill. Hill.